497,000 jobs created, according to ADP, during the month of June. That is well in advance of the uh, forecast for 225,000, way ahead of the revised 267 that they say we got in May. Uh, now, ADP for months and months has been coming in lower than the non-farm payrolls number from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And so if we got a higher number from BLS, you can only imagine what the market would would, uh, reset to. Uh, the numbers are really interesting because most of the hiring was in leisure and hospitality still. And although they seasonally adjust these numbers, I'm, I'm not sure if they've got it exactly right because 232,000 jobs in leisure and hospitality. Now you're going to open all the beaches, the lifeguards get hired, uh, the amusement parks open up. That would increase uh, employment in those areas. But 232,000 is a, a very, very large number. And you get this 490. 97,000 guys with a loss of 42,000 jobs in manufacturing, according to Amazing. ADP. So this is uh, quite a number, and it's going to be really, really interesting to think about it tomorrow morning at 8.30. Well, let's, I think, Mike, you did a great <clears throat> job of framing what's happening with manufacturing and what isn't happening with services. Do you expect to see that in the ISM in about two hours' time? Uh, that's been the general uh, pattern, although the ISM for services Services employment numbers were negative. They were below 50 last month. So do we get that again, uh, or does it start to go up again? I mean, in theory, if you get these kind of numbers at service establishments, especially leisure and hospitality, those numbers should go higher. So um, we'll see if this is an outlier or not. One other uh, important point, um, ADP has now started uh, publishing a pay uh, survey. Uh, they've been doing that for some months now. And according to the pay insights, uh, uh, the uh, the overall pay for uh, employees increased 6.4 percent. If you stayed in your job, that's down from 6.6 percent in May. Job changers slowed for the 12th straight month, 11.2% right. raise. Uh, that's the lowest since October of 2021, they say. So we're getting all this job creation without, uh, in theory, um, significant wage well, gains, uh, or at least they're, they're slowing, which if uh, if the Fed were to look at it, they probably would like that. I'm not sure they would. They do use, interestingly enough, the Fed does have its own private uh, index of employment, and they use ADP data to create Interesting. it. It's Interesting. not the same, it's not the same index, but they do use